You are now tuned into CalsoScoped. What's going on YouTube? It's CalsoScoped back with another video. If you don't know who I am, I'm currently a sports artist with the Yukon Huskies and I've been designing for about three to four years. Now in this video, you're gonna be seeing a LaMelo Ball poster design that I created. And this just involves a lot of things that I've learned over time, whether it be composition, lighting, player subjects, player retouching, it's all a combination and that's the beauty of making art. It's over time you just learn a lot of things and it starts to come together. So I had a lot of fun with this and as you guys know, all my project files are available on Patreon so if you guys can support me over there, that would mean the world to me. But thank you guys for clicking on this video and I don't want to waste any time so let's hop right into the process. Alright y'all, so for the first part of this video, I'm going to show you guys in a sped up way just how I get everything on the canvas before I get started. And this just allows my mind to think in a better way going forward with the composition and everything like that. So I'm going to mask out everything before I really start getting into it. But you guys are going to see the speed process, so let's get to it. So in terms of masking, I'm not really doing anything out of the box or out of the ordinary that you guys have never seen. I just like to use my pen tool and I like to go in with my lasso tool. So at this point, now I have everything on my canvas that I'm going to be using. Um, most likely I might add a logo or something like that, but you guys see that I did add a little bit of topaz clarity on the mellow, but that's really all I have done to the overall composition. I'm going to also do that to the mellow ball here. And I'm going to try to get a nicer, not as yellow skin tone. If you go into, if you merge something together, you're gonna to be able to see it in camera. If it's clipped, you're not gonna be able to see it. So remember that when you're trying to make things come to life in camera, and you wanna see it in more unison. And then I always use select color range, and I'll go on the highlights first, and then after I go on the shadows, but first I'm selecting the highlight. And what this is going to do is it's gonna create a more dramatic feel to your subject because you're getting more of those, pulling more of the highlights out and you're pulling more of the shadows out. So like during this, it's like, it's no, it's like anything goes kinda. So, you know, just experiment, like selective color and experiment with your highlights and your shadows and you will be good. You will thank me later. 50% gray layer, so I'm gonna add a layer. Shift F5. 50% gray. So on the darker areas, I'm going to add a some burn. And on the lighter areas, I might add dodge, but I just wanna start making this look even more contrasted. Another thing that I just decided is I like the selective color. So I put another selective color on, and I don't want this to be like green, I want it to be blue. So I just put selective color, then I went on the cyan, a little bit more yellow. Look a little bit more blue, you know? I like I like that blue vibe from it. So uh, that's why I went in and did really quick. Let's just deal with just this mellow front picture. Essentially just bring this down, and I don't even really want any part. I wanna bring more of this platform out. to select I'm gonna go to my color range and I'm gonna choose highlights from this and I'm just gonna drop the brightness as cleanly as I can sometimes a feather is hard to do but see I'm just dropping the brightness like that and then I'll also just add a brightness and contrast All right so I kind of want him to be up out in smoke essentially or not up in smoke but yeah it's just out in smoke this smoke and this is going to give me a chance to actually create what I want to create right but it's gonna let me going to let me just see a better visual representation. I try to make more of a dynamic light. So I put it on linear dodge and now I'm going to bring out some light that is really bright. I'm just going to go on this mellow one more time and I'm going to soften up some of these edges. So now that it's really dark, you see some of them are like, and this can make a design look pretty bad when the, when the edges are really harsh. I'm gonna do an inner shadow, inner shadow for mellow. This is where the lighting gets fun. I'll probably put this on the yeah, luminosity. So whenever I use exposure, I usually put on luminosity. Blending options, I usually add an extra exposure to get anything that the blending options has taken off that I wanna have on. All right, so we're coming to the end here. So what I did is I went back on my mask and I, just made sure not to have like one consistent light streaming down everywhere because if you do do that, you're gonna start getting like a, I don't know, just a, a bad vibe to it because if you have light just like streaking only on the edge of him and then it's just like all streaming on the edge of him, it just isn't going to look good. It's gonna look really like played out and like you kind of just said, 
oh, let me just add this one exposure thing and then just call it a day. So you definitely don't want to have that. So just vary up your light is what I would tell you for a tip there. I was just going around and color balancing. Now I added some color corrections and what I just did is I used a combination of a lot of my color cups that I really like and then I used some color balance. I brightened up the overall image. I think I'm going to try and do a little bit of text here. Now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just use layer styles because I just have layer styles always ready to go. All right, so I cleared that layer style and now I'm just going to use blending options. I'm going to bring the fill opacity down and I'm just going to only use a stroke over the top just so you can see the L and L. Like I said before, there's always going to be adjusting. For in this case, I didn't like how the floor was adapting or just how it looked overall. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to redo it. There's always room for post processing, so be aware of that and always just go on your document and just check things like your values. If you want to add any dodging and burning, now is the time to do it. And I highly suggest just making things look even more dynamic with dodge and burn, or just to uh, just look at things and see if you want to make them better in any sort of way. Check things and maybe even spark some new ideas for what I could make. What I could make something look like. going to wrap it up for the video you guys can check out the project files i'll link the patreon down below if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys subscribe if you're new share with a friend and do not miss the next video where i will be talking about how to